A neat math fact I like to share with kids. This is a very, very nice one. And this also shows you that you don't need high level math to impress people with math because this is super, super interesting. When I first saw this, like long time, long time ago, I was pretty fascinated by this as well. So the claim is the first, the sum of the first n odd numbers is n squared. So what do we really mean though? Well, check this out. So here, these are the odd numbers. When we're talking about odd or even numbers, we are just dealing with whole numbers only. And when we're talking about the first, we start with a positive. So technically, you should mention a positive, maybe just a small attachment to make it more clear. Right? Zero is not odd. Zero is actually even. So we start with one. And the next one is three, and the next one is five, and then seven, and then nine, and then so on, so on, so on. So these are the odd numbers. Do not say one point three is odd. That, that's that, that's odd. Don't do that. So these are the odd numbers. Now the sum is, of course, we add them up. And how do we make the observation though? Here. If I add the first odd number, it's just one. I add the first R number. Now I'm going to add the first two R numbers. So this and that together, so it's one plus three. One plus three is four. And guess what? This is the same as two squared. Now I'm going to add the first three R numbers, which is one plus three plus five. And that's what? Nine, which is three squared. And then let's do one more, one plus three plus five plus seven. So this is nine already, and we just have to add seven. Seven plus nine is 16, which is four times four, which is four squared, and so on, so on, so on. So this is really cool, right? And of course, one is the same as one squared. Very, very nice. Now, there are different levels to talk about this right here. First, you know, this is how you make an observation. So you can kind of make the claim that the first the sum of the first R numbers is n squared and just kind of do a few cases and see the result and try to see the pattern, right? That's one thing, that's uh, one of the first level. And then secondly, you should be able to prove it. Because sometimes when you just do the first few cases, maybe it only works for the first few cases, it might not work for like the larger number. So this is how you should do math. and. The typical way to prove this is called the mathematical induction. Whenever you are dealing with like the first n things, right? First couple, for first uh, whole numbers, you should do mathematical induction. I'm going to skip that because I want to make this video fun for kids, of course, right? Just like the post said. And the next level, I think it's the most fun one is that if you have a very clever way to show it, that's like, oh, wow, take a look at this. It has to be right after you see this. Then just do it. You don't have to get too mathematical sometimes, in my opinion. And we do have a way to do it. Check this out. So you can just think about each number as like a little dot or block. You can think about this right here as one dot. Three is like three dots. And then five is like five dots. One, two, three, four, five. You can get the idea. So check this out. If I do one plus three plus five plus seven plus dot dot dot, how do we do it? One is like one dot, three is like three dots, but I'm not going to arrange the three dots like this. That's just going to be like line, not fun. But instead, I'm going to arrange one, two, three like this. This is the three dots. Now, how about for five? Five dots, I'm going to go like this. One, two, three, four, five. Now seven, of course you know it. One, two, three, and then go down like this. Four, five, six, seven. Very nice, huh? And then if you keep on going, these are meant to be different dots. If you keep on going, you can really form a square, right? Because these four R numbers, they do form a this is square, four by four square, which is four square. Just like that. I think it's very cool. This is like the geometry.